All right, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Hi, everyone. This is Lynn at Yoga Story. Um, I'm going to do a 30 minute practice today and would love to invite you to uh, do it along with me. Um, we're going to start on our mats in child's pose. Let the forehead rest on the mat right there in the space between your eyebrows. Take a couple deep breaths in and out. Let your arms relax. Walk them to the right side of your mat. Left hand on top of your right. Breathe into the left side of the body. And then move to the other side of your mat, right hand on top of left. Breathe into the right side of your body. And then move back to the middle, coming into tabletop. Inhale through cow pose. As you settle your hips over your knees and your shoulders over your wrists, exhale into cat pose. Breathe in. And breathe out. Make your movements a little bit more dynamic, kind of rocking forwards and backwards with each one. Maybe even coming all the way back down in a modified type of child's pose. Inhaling and exhaling all, the entire time, keeping the breath moving through the body as you move the body physically. And then one more, come back to tabletop, turn the toes under, set your hands up wider than the shoulders, downward facing dogs. Pedal the feet. Lift your right leg up back behind you. Open up through your hip and do some little circles with your right foot. Draw the right shoulder down. And then switch sides. Ooh. Work out any tightness we've got there. Come back to downward facing dog. Tiptoe all the way to the top of your mat. Let's hang in ragdoll for a few breaths. You can bend the knees, lift your tailbone a little higher, pour the weight into the balls of the toes. It's almost as if you could feel yourself shift forward and come to the hands. Just hang out there though. Release the arms, heel toe your feet back to touch. Take a halfway lift, stretch the spine out, and then forward fold again. Inhale all the way up to stand. Bring the hands to touch at heart center. Close down the eyes. Take whatever intention you want to take for your practice today. Today I'm going to practice with... The intention of gratitude so move through the entire day today, being grateful for small miracles, being grateful for small comforts, big comforts, just anything that I can call to mind in the situation, in the circumstance that I am present in to be grateful for, especially in those that are just a little bit crappy. <laughs> All right, take a breath in together, breathe in. Exhale to seal our intention. Lift up, breathe in. Forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, let's all come to plank pose. And we'll hold here for a while, so I'll talk while we hold. <laughs> Principles today of our practice, if we need to decrease intensity, then we bring things like our knees down. And if we've got any joint issues, we decrease the range of motion. So maybe not going as deep into lunges or deep into folds, that kind of thing. Okay, so hold. Hold and breathe, guys. We're going to take five, four, three, two. Now shift forward, breathe in, and then lower, exhale. Low plank. Upward facing dog. 
big full breath in, and then let's just go ahead and curl back down to our chest. Take our fingertips wide. Three breaths in as we lift up on an inhale. That's one, lower back down on an exhale. Number two, lift up, inhale, lower down, exhale. Last one, lift up, inhale, bring the chest forward a little bit more, pull the belly in and lower down, exhale. Plant the hands, curl the toes under and lift just your thighs up. You can see a little bit of air underneath my thighs, pull the belly in. Bring the elbows closer together, big full breath in. Exhale to plank pose, one solid movement, and then downward facing dog. Bring the toes to touch, lift the right leg up back behind you. Knee to the heart, rock forward, plant the foot between the hands. Rock into your hips here. Maybe even straighten and then bend again. And then straighten, bend again, back and forth. And then take a big step, forward fold, top of the mat. Halfway lift, forward fold. Reach up all the way overhead, big inhale, forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, coming back into that high plank, this time for a count three. Two, press the head back. One, rock forward and inhale. Lower, exhale. Upward facing dog. Back down to the ground very slowly. Three, inhale, exhale. Cobra pose number two, inhale, exhale. Last one, Cobra pose three, breathe in and back down all right curl the toes under lift the thighs up squeeze the elbows breathe in one solid plank to press up downward facing dog to press back left leg up knee to the heart step it between the hands and let's take our little hip movements here maybe some circles maybe some straight legs and bentley's And then big old step, one, two, three, top of the mat. Oh, here we go. Halfway lift, <laughs> forward fold, and reach up, stretch tall, inhale, forward fold, exhale, halfway lift, chaturanga, let's take one exhale to lower, upward facing dog, straight back, downward facing dog, sun A, bend the knees, gaze forward, draw the thighs together, hop to the top, Woo! Oh, there goes my mic. Halfway lift, <laughs> forward fold. Really enthusiastic, <laughs> all the way up. And then forward fold, exhale. Halfway lift, chaturanga. <laughs> Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. All right, one more hop. Pull the inner thighs together. Pull the belly around you, light as can be. Hop, halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale up forward fold, halfway, chaturanga, taking it back and down again, upward facing dog, breathe in, downward facing dog, exhale, let's pause here, if you need to catch up, catch up, take a few breaths, pedal the feet, right leg up, breathe in, low lunge, and then left knee to the earth, bring the hands to the right knee, outer hand comes up, and over, so this is your left hand. Ooh. Back to the ground with the hands, curl the back toe under, and then bring the hands up high lunge. Powerful lunge, so we're airplaning the arms, keeping the lunge in the lower half, trying not to fall over. Woo <laughs> Breathe in. Breathe out, lengthen the chest forward without resting on that thigh, then inhale the hands up, back down through chaturanga as we exhale. Upward facing, downward facing. Left foot forward, low lunge. Take the right knee down, left hand to the knee, right hand reaches, tilting to the side. Back up. 
Take the hands down, curl the back knee under, lift up high lunge. Again, try not to fall over Lynn. <laughs> Airplane, the arms powerful lunge, send the heart more forward, bend through the left knee. So don't take that bend out of the lunge when we add intensity. That's always our tendency to kind of go, oh, back off, nope. Get back down into it, guys. Lengthen the chest forward. Inhale the hands up, one sweep, and then back down, chaturanga. A little variation of a sun bee, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Bend through the knees, draw the inner thighs and the belly towards one another, and the hop, bloop, top of the mat, halfway lift, forward fold. Inhale, burst up, chair pose, sink nice and low, lift the heart, and breathe. More space between the shoulders. Get a little lower, pick up the toes. Breathe in, forward fold. Halfway lift, chaturanga. <sighs> Upward facing, downward facing. Right knee to the heart, rock forward, squeeze, step. Inhale, hands up. Back down, chaturanga, exhale. <sighs> Upward facing, downward facing. Left side, knee to the heart, squeeze, step, inhale up, back down. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Bend through the knees, take a look forward, guys. You got it, hop, bloop, halfway lift, forward fold, sound effects help, inhale up, and then chair pose. Airplane the arms here, powerful chair pose. Reaching the heart forward, reaching the hips back so we lengthen through the side body. <sighs> Keep coming down. And then into boat pose. Yes. Whew. Lift. And then lower. I gotta hold my legs. I'm still using that I just had a baby excuse, right guys? Up. Reason, not an excuse. <laughs> Hold in your high boat, and then lower. It's number two. Squeeze the inner thighs. Look up. High boat. One more low boat. Lengthen. Look up. If you can, hands over the head. I cannot. That's okay. Back up. Here we go. Cross the ankles. We're going to rock forward and then jump it back, chaturanga. Whoop. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Breathe, breathe Lynn. <laughs> right leg up, knee to the heart, really intentional here, and then set the foot. Low lunge, up to high lunge, warrior two. See, falling over today, guys. <laughs> right and left foot, lots of space. Pull the right ribs in so that we're not like this. We want to be shoulders and hips right over each other. And gaze over this front middle finger. Settle into it. Reverse. Inhale. Chaturanga taking it back down. Exhale. Upward facing. Downward facing dog. Left side, foot up, knee to the heart, very intentional, cat back, step into high lunge, inhale the hands up, and then open warrior two, set it up the same way. Grateful for our strength in this pose, it's a wide stance here, take up all that real estate on your mat. Oh, I'm sweating, guys. <laughs> Reverse, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. All right, bend through the knees, step hop or jump to the top, Shoop. halfway lift, forward fold, burst up, and then into chair pose again, powerful chair, heart forward, Draw the belly in, low belly goes high, hips go low. That keeps our spine neutral, heels up, and breathe. <sighs> 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 
keep sinking it down heels down back into our boat pose and we've got three high boat low boat high boat low boat high boat low boat back to our high crisscross the ankles awkward ankle on top step or hop it back chaturanga upward facing dog downward facing dog we'll pause so that everybody catches up a longer standing sequence this time lift the right leg up tap that right tricep come high tap it as high as you can back to three-legged down dog knee to the heart curl back up opposite tricep keep it high lift the hips tap back up step high lunge powerful lunge holding for five breaths hands to the heart twist because we're already halfway there let's keep this hip from going like that lift it up tuck it in and lengthen forward open the arms pull the belly tighter counterbalance warrior two windmill those arms around straighten the right leg pivot toes in heels out straddle <laughs> Woo. drop the head inner thighs back body open if you can bring the forearms to the ground if we can get that low pull the belly in and around you and then just play with that transfer of weight lift the heels all right make sure that you're solid here if you are not or if you feel like you're going to eat it then <laughs> let's not do this just maybe stay here and feel the stability through the hands that's where it all starts and then maybe take a few little puppy hops <sighs> bend the knees pull <sighs> all right bring the hands back to the mat rock to the left skandasana any variation of hands that you want to take here prayer or open or down three breaths exhale to the other side again same thing any variation prayer hands spread hands twist down to the ground then just turn towards the right so the right foot is forward again low lunge set the feet up pour the weight into this right foot standing split pose lift that left leg up back behind you and then turn that left hip towards the earth a lot of times we do this to get the height let's bring the stability into the hips it's okay if we don't have the height okay now a couple of options here plant the hands gaze back at the back of the mat no we want to gaze between the let's gaze be, gaze between the thumbs bend that right foot we're going to kick it to meet the left so the left isn't too high because our hips are square we're like in a half plank pose in this left leg so we're going to kick it back to chaturanga bend whoop, boom <laughs> da -da -da, upward facing dog downward facing dog if you care not to do that then you can just meet us here downward facing dog and we'll wait a few breaths for everybody to catch up hmm. left leg up now remember come up high and around tap that left tricep and then bring it back up again go to the middle Boop. and then go to the right Boop. <sighs> take it back up again and we come into that high lunge step set the feet lift the hands <sighs> powerful lunge five breaths take a look at those left toes make sure that they're not gripping in a death grip on your mat 
anchor the heel down through the balls of the toes. Let the toes themselves relax. <clears throat> Bring the hands to the heart. Breathe in. And then twist left because we're already halfway there. Strengthen that right thigh. Gaze to the left. Lengthen forwards and backwards throughout the entire body. Open the hands. Pull the belly tighter to counterbalance. Mill it around. Set the feet up. Straighten the left leg. Pivot and turn. Lift. Bind. Pull the belly in. Hinge into our straddle fold. Locking those elbows out. Exerted. Here. And we can get down a little bit lower if you feel comfortable with this. If you've practiced this, if you haven't practiced this, then just practice that weight transfer. Okay, forearms come down into the mat, the belly comes up so that we're pushing and pulling in opposite directions. That creates the lift in our headstand. Plank pose in our headstand. No banana backs. Coming down. Good job, guys. Again, rock it from side to side. <coughs> and then we'll pivot into that low lunge, pour our weight into our left foot, standing splits, and drop the crown of the head. Turn the right thigh towards the ground. It's going to decrease the height, but we're going to practice our float. Or you can simply meet us after going through your vinyasa into downward facing dog. So bend through the left knee, pull the belly in, step, hop, kick, chaturanga, upward facing, downward facing, yeah. Bend through the knees, pull the belly and the thighs together, hop, choop. heel toe the feet apart, peace fingers to the big toes, half length, fold. Hmm. Release the fingers, heel toe the feet back to touch. Straight into chair pose, sink down nice and low. Fix your shirt if you're me. <laughs> Bring the hands to the heart. Twist it out again, right side. Again, lengthen the opposite directions from the tailbone through the head. Pull the ribs around you, open the arms. With control back to center, keep the hips low, twist left. A lot of times in our twists, our booty creeps up to take the weight out of our thighs. It's okay, go ahead and put that booty back down. Yeah, open. Forward fold, bring the hands to the mat, crow pose. Again, inner thighs and belly do a lot of the work here. Pressing through the base of the hands, chaturanga type arms, just gives us a nice solid foundation like our feet does in balance poses. Coming back to Malasana when you're ready, because that's where we'll go next. Balance is always based on whatever bandage, hands or feet, is anchored to the ground. So anchor those feet if you're in Malasana. Pull through the heels and press three, to stand. All right. Feet together. <sighs> Let everything settle. Right foot down, left foot up. Drop the left hip so that that right and left hip one line across the belt. <sighs> Kick it forward. Pull this kneecap up. That's going to give you some strength here, here, and here. Let's come back into warrior three. 
Hands at the heart, hips level, belly tight, always. Try not to grip with those toesies. Right hand down, left hand stays at the heart as we spin to the left. Like we're opening up to half moon, but we're going to try to keep those fingertips up off the ground and elevate the left hand. Don't move your gaze. I'm gazing right there at the top middle center of my mat so that I have length in my neck and I'm like a side plank in my body. Ooh, tapped it. One more breath. And then figure four. So I'm going to cross that left ankle over my right leg, activate the left foot, sink down, bring the hands to the mat. You can stay here or start to straighten more of the right leg and fold. And we're going to practice again that step hop back into chaturanga. This time bend the right knee and just unfold into standing splits. Bend the right knee, step hop, bloop, chaturanga, upward facing dog, light as can be, downward facing dog, bend through the knees. This time we're going to kick our heels to our butts five times, bend five, light, four, you shouldn't be able to hear me land, three, belly pulls, two, stack the shoulders, one, good job, walk forward. Ooh, it's hard to teach and do this at the same time. Stand on the hands, Padastasana. Drop the head. Hmm. Release the hands, heel toe the feet back to touch. Stand all the way up. Hands to the heart. We're going to come to the left side. Right knee lifts, right hip drops. Kick it out. Flare the toes. Pull the kneecap up. Breathe. Kick it behind you. Warrior three. Hands to the heart. Open to the side. Let's see if we can balance. Very slowly opening. Left side sometimes gets cut off. Don't rush it. I'm telling myself that too. It's not my great balancing side. So let's hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, that figure 4. <laughs> All right, sit low. Activate the right foot. Bring the fingertips down to the ground. Mm. Nice hip stretch. Standing half pigeon, and let's go then into standing splits. Okay, we're going to practice that step. Hop back into chaturanga, plant the hands. Big full breath in, bend the left knee, step hop, chaturanga. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Right side, lizard lunge. Rock back and forth. Drop the back knee, take your twist, or stay in a lizard lunge. You can even grab that back foot, bring a little more depth to the posture. Release it. Bring the right foot flat, curl the back toe under, lift the knee, and then a big step into Malasana squat. We're just going to change sides, so if you want to do this in a different way, then just meet us the left side lizard lunge. Ooh, left side's a little tight. Twist. And then let's curl that back toe under, step back, bend the knees, step forward, have a seat, forward fold, staff pose. So find the sitting bones, find your staff pose, lengthen up, and then take it forward, folding over the legs, lengthen halfway to keep the spine long, bring it down a little, bend in the knees is legal.
Taking it up, bend the right knee, step it over the left leg, twist to your right. Left arm's gonna help you out as you sit tall, twist from the ribs. Switch sides. And step over, twist to the left. Bring it back, one fish pose. Lean back onto your hands and your forearms. Point the toes, lift the heart, breathe in across the heart space. Two more breaths, lift a little higher. Press up, you can come to the back, or you can stay in meditation for five minutes for Shavasana, and that's a 30-minute practice, guys. So finish your practice however you need. Maybe turn this video off, turn some music on, and enjoy that last little bit of your practice. It's where a lot of the good stuff of yoga, when you can tune out um, the ever-looping thoughts and just focus on your breath, um, it's really where you get a lot of the benefits of yoga. So don't cut that part off, okay? Thank you guys for joining me.